This transmitter for measuring the interface has the standard displacer and is calibrated in full range to measure two liquids, a specific gravity of 0.786, kerosene or 78.6% relative to water, and a specific gravity of 0.998, water or 99.8%. Now is full of water. Above is the kerosene with light blue color to be visible and indicates about 100% on the display. We empty the vessel, and the interface of kerosene water appears on the sight glass. Indications alternate between milliamps and percentage. Now the interface enters within the measurement range limits, and the transmitter counts down on the display. We stop draining the vessel when the kerosene fills the chamber. The indication is 0%. From now onward, as the level of the kerosene goes down, the instrument's display counts negative. To find out what negative value that should be indicated if it is calibrated correctly, we must note the intersection point of the calibration line. On the y-axis, we are emptying the vessel and the level of the kerosene gradually reduced. The indication follows the calibration line downwards until intersects with the y-axis. The transmitter is still working normally, as if working at water-kerosene interface. The percentage indication still counts down, while the milliamps freeze at the minimum which is 3.8, representing minus 1.25% at the DCS. That's why this check must be done in the field. The display alters its value around minus 370.7% which is the correct number for the specific calibration. The intersection point on the y-axis is also minus 370.7. After we found out the value that should be indicated with the Desmos graphing calculator, we compare with the displayed indication. The transmitter respond properly. Now we write confidently this value on the front cover. For the following years, we will be able to check the transmitter in both zero and span, just closing the block valves and emptying the chamber. This is the ultimate check which could be done easy from the unit operators.